We have a spectacular university here at McGill, a university committed at its very core to knowledge, to ideas, to the use of research, science, and discovery to transform the world. Nowhere is this more evident than it is in looking across our campuses at the work of our professors. One of the reasons I came to McGill was because there were so many people who were at the head of their fields and that I could easily collaborate with. The great things about McGill is that you know, somebody can come up to you with this great idea. They're from a different lab in, in a different institute. You collaborate, you discover something very new, and then like within a very short period of time, you just open up a whole new field of inquiry. Research teaches me what's happening, what's, what are the issues, and what are we trying to do? How are we trying to solve the problem? The students that are attracted to studies of the environment are an absolute delight to be involved with. They believe that they can change the world. Of course, history informs every part of what makes McGill the remarkable university that it is today. And as we think about the work of McGillians over the past century, the work of Wilder Penfield simply shines. As with a lot of laboratories at McGill, our work is interdisciplinary, meaning that we're bridging two or more different fields. In my case, it's neuroscience and music and psychology. And we're using music as a window into brain function because music activates nearly every region of the brain that has so far been mapped. For a young student like me, to be able to combine my passions in research, like the neuroscience, the neuropsychology, the cognitive sciences and the music, it's really genial. Meeting Ida Hendel was like meeting the entire history of music in the world from the beginning of time. Complexity colors virtually every element of our world today, from the quality of civil society to our social and economic development, our health status, and the quality of the environment. McGill professors, our students, and indeed our alumni around the world are working to create solutions to these challenges, and they're succeeding, and we're proud of them. <laughs>